Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram, as well as co-host of DC Figures and Collectibles on iTunes, Anchor, Google Play, Spotify, basically anywhere you could hear podcasts. And today, I'm doing an action figure review on a figure that has come out a while ago. It is a Diamond Select Bruce Wayne from the Gotham television show. And there are not of a lot of Bruce Wayne figures. And so I asked for this for my birthday, and thankfully I got it. And it was a, it's a pretty good piece. As you can see, there's double knee articulation. There's a thigh cut to get them all loose. Double knee, though, like I said. He has pivot. He has ankle rock. Good amount of movement. He has a movement at the swivel at the elbow. Waist movement, nice little coat. Decent sculpt, not the best. The eyes look a little off, like they're looking like a chameleon would or a lizard away from each other. But uh, overall, it's a sick figure. And uh, like I said, there's not a lot of Bruce Wayne figures, so it's cool on that regard. But you also get this Lux Dio piece. And uh, Diamond Select, the people that made this figure, they're known for their great dial pieces especially uh marvel when they did those figures they do the diamond select marvel um so yeah they have great dial pieces so a lot of people just bought this figure for the dial piece alone but uh i want he, he's a seven inch scale figure so you can see he's almost as tall as this bruce old old man bruce uh so i want to do a different uh scale looks at scale so you guys could see where he would fit in if you are thinking about getting this figure or if you just want to take a look at different figures. So here he is next to the DC Collectibles Old Man Bruce. And you can see he's pretty big for a child. Here is a old DC Universe Blue Bats. Scales pretty decently. A newer Mattel DC Multiverse Batman. And that looks okay. Then we got a animated... BTAS Batman. I, mean, I guess that could count as a kid, a bigger kid. Here's a look at a Hardick Batman fig for scale. The Justice League animated version. Then I wanted to do a more realistic looking figure. So I got the DC Collectibles Rebirth, which is tends to be tinier. So you can see that this guy is almost as tall as the Rebirth Icons DC Collectibles version. Then I wanted to see what he looks like next to another kid from the Icons line. And as you can see, he dwarfs Damien. Absolutely dwarfs him. And then, last but not least, I wanted to do an 8 inch figure. Because he's supposed to be a 7 inch scale. Beast Kingdom is a uh, eight inch scale so here's a Ben Affleck next to him and I actually think that looks pretty good that scales almost perfectly so if you have Beast Kingdom figures and you want a young Bruce there you go so I'm gonna have a picture up on my page you can see more of this guy I did I think one or two of them but if you want to see the newest one that I have posted by the time this is up, you can check it out at Batman Figs, F-I-G-S. You could also check out uh, the podcast, DC Figures and Collectibles. Like I said, it is everywhere and anywhere you can hear a podcast. And yeah, hope you enjoy your day, and I will talk to you soon.